Okay, I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of stables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky. We need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Gear needed to respond to a public disturbance. Backup needed in Bloomingdale. Alarmist. Paranoid. Conspiracy theories. All nasty words people have used to insult and demean me. But now, after years of me trying to warn you all, here we are. Spider-Man has literally brought a plague down upon us. Why do I blame him and not Martin Lee? I do blame Martin Lee. He deserves swift justice, but he's a lunatic terrorist. This is what they do. Whereas Spider-Man claims to be a hero. Yet he obviously knew about the threat and didn't warn us. He either thought he'd handled it, which makes him criminally negligent, or he was in on it, which makes him a terrorist too. Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. I need to get into the security room to unlock it. Excuse me. The lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to uh, temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security suite. why we had to clear the entire floor. It's because Sable took over building security. Routine sweep, they're calling it. Checking for weapons or explosives. Yeah, that elevator goes straight to his penthouse. Pretty sure he's up there right now. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. A health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Hey, let us back upstairs. I've got a medical emergency here. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. We risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Get out here right now. Security Stop room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing this for your safety. Just don't see why you guys need to be back here. Hello. Swear your way out of here. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you.
multi-million dollar. I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Control, I heard something. Running a sweet Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire him. Stupid useless button. Hmm. guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. The fabulous Osborne boys. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Norman bids his son farewell. Huh. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Self-diagnostic complete. No faults found. Fire 
<sighs> Norma could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad coat. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. <sighs> Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms. And a motto. Pax in Bello. Peace in War. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Ugh. Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza. Not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. For Harry, can it? Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location.
Control, grid's clear. Repeat, grid's clear. July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Spiders? Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage? What the hell is he trying to create? Norman Osborne, GR-27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. I have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Got a real mad scientist thing going on. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Kinda makes sense, though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. I had no idea they owned so much of New York. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Dr. Michaels went to this Oscorp building. But there's no security detail. This can't be it. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. Dr. Strom. Isn't he a robotics expert? No movement from Dr. Van Adder. Must be out of the city. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been too. Bravo, bravo, bravo. And this must be the C-team. 
Good old Alpha Team. Commercial buildings. Wow. So many records facilities. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. Nope, that's just Disable Patrol. No, Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a shop. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michael's path. Nice! Got some overlap with Dr. Michael's path. Hmm, looks wrong. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. Dr. Michaels went to this Oscorp building, but there's no security detail. No, Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a shopping center. A records facility could be perfect cut. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. GR-27, that's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it! Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running.
Need to clear that balcony. Could really use a coffee. Let's flush him out. Keep searching. Hey! <gasps> Boss, we got her. No! Pete, you here? Turn it off, Lex, now. Are you okay? We'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. I'm not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. <laughs> <laughs> 